Hi, my name is Dr. Amy, and I'm here with the Illinois Back Institute here to demonstrate tip number three for stretches for sciatica symptoms. This third tip is going to involve what's called the neurodynamic stretch. So we're going to place a stretch not only on your hamstring and your calf muscle, but also a stretch on that sciatic nerve. It's important to have mobility of that nerve. So I'm going to demonstrate that. I'm going to go ahead and lay down. Try to find a firm surface such as this table, as you see. If you don't have access to this table, I would recommend the floor. If you can't get on the floor, then the bed would be adequate. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a belt, or if you have a towel, and place the belt around the foot. I'm going to keep the right knee nice and straight. The left knee will be bent. I'm going to pump my ankle back and forth. So the toes are going to point towards me. That's where you'll feel the greatest stretch. And then they're going to um, point towards the ceiling and that's when you're going to loosen up on a stretch. You're going to do this 20 times. So, there's one, two, three, four. And I'm going to have you do 20 repetitions times three sets. You should feel a nice stretch along the hamstring, along the calf, and it's going to also improve that mobility of that sciatic nerve. And I would do it on both legs or whichever leg you're having those symptoms.